billions. Now, laundromat systems and businesses are ever so popular in the West. In fact, ever so rampant right over there. But how do they fare on here in Kenya? That's what we want to find out today. As you guessed it, we've got a couple of dryers and washers right behind me. And we're going to talk to the owner of Mama Fua, which is the establishment and business right over here, and the people over at Hotpoint to tell us why LG has the very best in the market. And of course, a representative from LG as well. My name is Peter Ngigi. Welcome to Property Focus. Hey, how are you doing, boss? Fine, thank good, you, good. Thank you very much. Michael, yeah. uh -huh. I'm here to bring in some of my stuff here. Good. Got a blazer inside. Yes. Super, super. Express service, how many hours? You only need three hours and you have to be done. Three hours? Yes. That sounds good. Fantastic. Really like what you guys have done with the space over here. Okay. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you very much. Much welcome. Good, good. Come along. Let's go see this other side. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. Ravi? I'm great. Thank good, you very good. much. Welcome back to Property Focus. Sante sana. Briefly introduce yourself to the viewers. Name is Ravi Kanani. Yes. Born and brought up in Kenya. I uh have. -huh. Been working at Hot Point okay. Appliances Limited for the last 10 years. Yes. It was started by my uh, father in 1984. Mm -hmm. I studied abroad yes. in London yes and that's when I first got exposed to the concept of laundromats when I moved back to Kenya I always wondered why there were no laundromats in Kenya fortunately we have managed to demystify that and uh, yeah we have so many laundromats in Kenya now so we're very excited super duper now tell us about LG why is LG such a good brand to use when you're taking out laundromat uh, business model so LG, obviously, people know it as one of the leading brands for appliances and electronics. Okay. Specifically for laundromats, they've got a purpose-built uh, commercial washer and dryer. Okay. It comes in 10 and 15 kilos. Yes. What's great about it, and as we can see in the shop behind us, number one, it's stackable. Uh -huh. So I need half the space. Okay. The dryer goes on top of the washer. Uh -huh. Main thing, when you have the uh, commercial laundry, you consume power and you consume water yes so the lg machines are smart machines uh -huh. depending on the load it adjusts the water and electricity that machine consumes so what it's a brand does this not not that i'm aware of and especially not in this market so it's yes. very energy efficient so that means your monthly bills are, are much lower when you use the lg machines yes and of course they've got some other features which in this time of uh uh, let's say COVID is even more uh, important. They have steam wash, so you know, um, it kills all all the germs. Mm -hmm. And of course, yes. um, a lot of the commercial machines we see in the market are 30 kilos, yes. 35 kilos. Those are too big for a laundromat. So a family's washing, maybe 10 kilos worth or 15 kilos worth. So the LG machine capacity is ideal for a laundromat. Interesting, very interesting. Tell us about uh, supply. Can anybody start this business? Do you, does Hotpoint just have available stock for this? Sure, we keep a lot of stock locally. No business is easy. Yes. But compared to other startups, there are not so many barriers to entry. Okay. Your initial investment is not so high. Costs about 500,000 for a set of washer dryer for a 10 kilo and about 800,000 for a 15 kilo washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. Um, other than your initial investment in the machines, you don't need a big space. Uh -huh. For example, the space behind here is about yeah. four, five hundred square feet and they mm -hmm. can fit in six washers and six dryers and still have a lot of space. So you don't need so much space. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. You know, most people will easily be able to run a washer dryer. And as Hotpoint, we offer the backup, the maintenance, the support. So once you've purchased the machines, you don't have to worry too much. Mm -hmm. And the great thing is that we have helped so many laundromats open that anybody coming into the market, we can give all that learning to them. Mm -hmm. And this is the second one that we're doing together. This, you're no stranger to the show. Yeah, and yes. as an example, Mama Fua Laundromatic started here in Freedom Heights with this laundromat here. Mm -hmm. Just next door, they've purchased some extra space and they bought another six machines. Interesting. So within less than six months time, they've yes. gone from six machines to 12 machines. And for us, that really shows us that, yes. you know, when the investors start 
getting second and third shops, you know, that should be a really good indication to the market that there's a really viable business here. Mm -hmm. Ravi, in terms of return on investment, what likely are business owners making with this particular business model? Sure. So like I mentioned, a set of washer dryer, depending on the capacities between 500 to 800,000. Yes. And you can be looking at generating about 150 to 200,000 in revenue once you're at full capacity from that one set of machine. My good. So depending on how you, much your initial investment is, your rent and other costs. Okay. We generally calculate the ROI to be about 12 to 18 months. So you can get your money back quite quickly. And the best thing about this business is you start generating revenue from day one. Interesting. Any of our viewers who are watching, any advice to them? Sure. I would mm -hmm. say that all over the world, yes, there's so many laundromats. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, when we got into this, we it was about four years ago we started doing market research we struggled to find laundromats if i did that same exercise today there are over a hundred if we are having this discussion next year yes they may be close to a thousand for me it's going to be like a java like a art cafe yes. where every few kilometers you'll have several laundromats. So what I would advise people, mm -hmm. be the first movers, mm -hmm. start your laundromat chain now, like Laundromatic are doing, yeah. like Mama Fua are doing. Ha. I'm sure viewers will see a few more Mama Fuas coming up and the yeah. people that move first, mm -hmm. that move fast, will really be able to capture the market quickly. So my advice would be, uh -huh. you know, don't, don't sit on this. Yes. The market right now is ripe, it's open, and yeah, there's so much opportunity. Super. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming on to the thanks, show. Thanks for your time and thanks Amazing. for having me. Amazing. Pleasure. That was Ravi, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Let's move on to our next guest. And welcome back. We're here with Eden Seo, who's no stranger to the show. He's come here a number of times. Welcome to Property Focus. Good, good. Tell us about yourself once again. Thank you for the inv invitation once again. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased to have this kind of opportunity. Yes. Uh, my name is Eden Seo. I'm uh, responsible for the home appliance business yes. for the East Africa, including 16 countries. Actually, uh, before coming here, I was a global task leader for the commercial laundry. And so that's why I traveled a lot from the Europe, Russia, Asia, and eventually I came to the uh, Africa. You've gotten it right, and it seems like only LG is being the preferred model for these laundromats. Tell us why. I would say our product is a backbone, has a backbone as a domestic product, residential product. And then, you know, LG is a, you know, the number one washing machine company. So when we compare between like a industrial washer and then LG commercial washer, we have to consider not only product but also service. Because you can imagine that in order to like uh, fix the washer, we have to take out and then disassemble, disassemble. It will take so long time. So in order to protect the uh, you know core parts, we made uh, some safe devices like uh, outer fuse in order to protect from the electric shock or blackout, for example. Exactly, so it's easy to maintain. Yes, yes. One more thing for the viewers. What would you advise anybody who's watching right now about this business model, Mr. Aiden Sim? Most important thing is uh, location. So you have to have a consultation time with uh, our business partner calling uh, Hot Points. Yes. And then like uh, we can support not only business scheme, but also product knowledge and also service as well. So we are having a business seminar and also uh, we are planning to have a technical seminar to educate our customers. <laughs> I love it. Support is amazing. The machines are amazing. Thank you very much, Mr. Eden Seop. Thank you very much. The show, absolutely amazing. There you had it from Eden Seop. We're gonna take a small commercial break. When we're back, we've got more from the owner of this laundromat. Stay tuned. How are you doing? Hi, hi. Good, good. Welcome. Thank you very much, Jack. This place looks amazing. Thank you very much. I love what you've done with it. I know you, but you. just for our viewers' sake, just briefly introduce yourself. My name is Jack Shiundo, Director of Mumafua Laundromatic. This is a laundry business whereby we offer wash and fold services to our clients. We also offer pressing services 
and at the same time we do collection and delivery at no extra cost to the clients fantastic yes. fantastic well, what informed you to get into this business uh peter i've yes. been in the commercial laundry and recleaning yes. business yes for the last 17 years wow so we looked at the laundry sector and realized that there's a gap that is uh, yet to be satisfied so we decided uh why not yeah, we have the knowledge. Yes. But then uh, we looked at uh, which machines can we be able to, um, which will work best for us. True, true. Yeah. And that's why we partnered with the LG yes. and their local distributors, Hotpoint. Interesting. And what informed you on this location? Why Langata? We look at Langata as a central location. And from this area, we can be able to serve a wide area of, uh, within Nairobi. Okay. Yes. So lots of population density in this particular Lots of area. population density. Yes. Yes. Do they consume the services? They do consume the services, but we also get a lot of um, uh, collection and deliveries from uh, outside Langata area. Okay. In fact, most of our business comes outside the Langata area. Interesting. Yes. So where are we exactly over here in Langata? We are at Freedom Heights Mall, Mezzanine Floor. Okay. Tell us about the price points. We do charge 150 shillings per kg and 650 shillings uh, for a duvet, any size. Okay. And uh, for if you want pressing, it's 70 shillings per piece. Super, super. Would you advise anybody to get into this business? Yes, I would advise anybody to get into the, this, this business. Uh, as long as you have set up the systems, you've done your research well, um, looked at uh, the location, and of course, you also partner with uh, somebody who can be able to give you the best machines like LG. Amazing, yes. amazing. Now, I know I have a jacket here. Hopefully, at the end of this interview, it's going to be ready. Karibu. And uh, thank you very much, Jack. Karibu, karibu. Absolutely karibu. amazing. Glad to have you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Asante. Hi, my name is Kevin. Here at Mama Fua, we offer free pickup and free delivery for all laundry services. Hey, Hi. good, good. Here for my clothes? Yes. Yeah, your clothes is ready. Thank you. My name is Esther Gisheha. Here at Mama 4, we offer free pickup and delivery within Nairobi. We pick your clothes, we come, weigh them, uh, we wash, dry, fold. We can also press your clothes uh, on request. Um, we, can, we also offer same day service. We pick and deliver the same day. Amazing. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Santi Sana. Good. Happy clothes are happy you. This has been Property Focus. My name is Pete Ngigi. Till next week, same place, same time. Goodbye.